Building a brand on social media is crucial for so many companies these days, and two local businesses have mastered that art by taking orders and spreading word about pop-up locations through Instagram. And our girl Sheila Wako is taking a look at two popular Philly food empires that got their start from the app. Hey, Anya, Philly foodies will recognize Pizza Gut, a huge local brand that started with pizza memes and pet photos. Dan Gutter used Instagram to announce pop-up partnerships with trendy local spots like Martha and Stargazy, and he even had pop-ups in his living room. He turned his kitchen into a pizza place while his roommates watched the Eagles games. People could not get enough of his pizza. When people started really getting on board, I was like, I should run with this because these opportunities don't come up that often. It would be silly to not try and push it as far as it could go. As Dan spread the word about pop-ups on his Instagram account, his loyal following grew. His first long-term partnership with Win Win lasted two years. The only way to get pizza was to reserve it through Instagram. People want to be in on the next cool thing and you had to go online to reserve it. So it wasn't like you could just show up and get pizza. You had to be in the know. Since then, Dan and his partners have opened a total of four brick and mortar restaurants. Circles and Squares in Kensington is pickup only with orders accepted once a week. South Philly's Pizza Plus has an expanded menu. Mount Airy's The Commodore serves sandwiches and homestyle platters. And Sit Down Spot Bourbon and Branch in Northern Liberties offers a plant-based twist. Everything on the menu there can be made vegan. So like if you see chicken parm on the menu, you can just order vegan chicken parm. It may sound cheesy, but Dan just hopes his pizza makes customers happy. I just always want them to open it up and be stoked and like pick it up and look at it and take their favorite bite. Like when I open a pizza, I always like survey all the slices. I'm like, that's the best slice. Switching from slices to schmear, Kismet Bagels was born out of early pandemic boredom by a local husband and wife duo. I woke up, I was like, I just want bagels. You know, I just want to eat some nice hot bagels. We yeah. just found a recipe online. We tasted them and it was just like, okay, this is insane. Like, this is the best bagel I've ever tried. Alexandra wanted to donate some bagels to healthcare workers. Her post in a neighborhood Facebook group led to neighbors asking to buy bagels as well so she could donate that money. Word spread on social media, orders poured in, and lines literally formed at their front door while Jacob and Alexandra hosted pop-ups and connected with customers on Instagram. We started talking to the camera every day and just sharing what we were doing. And I think everyone was so lonely and, you know, holed up in their homes that they felt a connection. And we had, we felt a connection with everyone interacting with us. It was really exciting. Alexandra and Jacob, who also work full-time jobs, added specialty cream cheese to the lineup, hired a staff, and were invited to bake in Liberty Kitchen before they got their own commercial baking facility to distribute their bagels to retailers. We don't really sleep right now. <laughs> no, not at all. Kismet means meant to be, and the name has a double meaning that goes all the way back to their childhoods when they very first met. Our grandparents were best friends from the 60s. I had a huge crush on her as a kid, and then for some reason or another, we lost touch for like 20 years. After a chance run-in with Jacob, Alexandra's grandmother encouraged him to reach out to her while she was living in L.A. By chance, Jacob already had a flight booked for later that week. They hung out once, and three days later, Alexandra had plans to move home to Philly. It all just felt like it was it was, it was really meant, meant to, to be. be. Kismet Bagels started with Alexandra's idea to donate to healthcare workers, and that spirit of giving back is something that remains important to their business. We never ever intended this to be a business. Yeah. It's wonderful that it is now, but like we never want to lose why we started. You yeah. know, so forever we're committed to donating a portion of every sale of charity. Forever. Kismet Bagels is currently working with Project Home to collect food drive donations at their pop-up locations and raise money to break the cycle of poverty and homelessness. You can also grab bagels and schmear at DeBruno Brothers, Riverwoods Produce, and a ton of other retailers in and around the city, and you can also order them on GoPuff. We've got information about both Kismet Bagels and Pizza Gut in the Philly Live section of NBC10.com or the NBC10 app. And shout out to my friend, our first alert meteorologist, Crystal Cly. She is a huge fan of both businesses, and she suggested them to me when I was looking for some great Philly food. So thank you, Crystal. Anya, back to you.